hello and welcome to day two of 21 days of yoga with colette thank you so much for joining me yet again on the mat and so we're going to begin the easy seat seated either having our palms down to ground ourselves or up to receive energy i like to have my palms down to really just ground myself and be present in today's practice so we're going to take some deep breath in and then out through the mouth and then back in and then out through the mouth so day two of 21 days of yoga for 2021 is vision the intention is to really think about what our vision is for not only 2021 but just this month of january for today and for your life in general so here we are seated and so we're going to begin by doing some cat and cow seated position. So lifting our chest up, opening our hearts, just to warm up the spine. Breathe in, exhale, cat, concave and closing in our hearts. And again, opening up our chest, opening our hearts, kind of facing diagonally up and then releasing that. And then doing some twists here, some turns just to wake our bodies up. We're going to lift our arms up over our heads, have a space between our shoulders. And then really lifting up and over, lifting that left body and placing the right arm down and over. For three, two, and one. Back to center and now bringing that left arm down, lifting up and over. For three, two, and one back and then placing your hands down in front of you right and kind of hinging at your hips and walking forward to really get that forward fold in this seated position holding this for three two and one and then safely walk it back so we're going to of course begin in tabletop Shoulders over wrist, knee over under hips. And then we're going to do some tabletops, cat and cow again. So lifting up our chest, opening our hearts. Eyes open or closed, whatever is comfortable for you. And tilting your tailbone up. And now tilting it down to get into cat, concaving our hearts. And then back up. And then back down. And doing a little twist or wriggle here. And then we're going to tuck our toes and actually hover, lifting our knees off the mat, engaging our core. And then shifting and tilting our butts up and back into downward dog. And then walking that out. Maybe the first downward dog of the day. And then we're going to look forward and walk our hands up into a forward fold. Having your hands down or on your thighs or calves, whatever is comfortable for you. And just allowing our bodies to wake up and heat up our hamstrings as we do some hamstring stretches. So, hands down. And then we're going to circle up, hands overhead into extended mountain pose. And then bringing our hands down, heart center, to Tadasana or Mountain Pose. And just taking some breath here. And so here you can bring forth your intention for today's practice. If you are sharing my intention of vision, then just to start to envision how you want 2021 to feel how you want to look like. Joy, happiness, adventurous, solitude, learning, experiencing. And if you were with me yesterday's practice, our intention was openness. And connecting today and yesterday's intention of being open to a vision but not 
being hard on that division, right? So 2020 taught us that life can happen without us even knowing and things can happen without us even having that plan. And so even though you do have a vision, be open to other visions or if your vision may change throughout the month, the year, or your lifetime. And then we're gonna open our arms up again. And then swan dive, hinging at the hips forward, fold, hands down on the mat, maybe doing some alternate bending with the left knee and then the right knee to wake up our spine. Right. Putting our hands underneath our knees, lifting up into a flat back. And then back down, placing our hands down and stepping back into a low lunge. Ooh, into a plank pose. Of course, you can do modify that's comfortable for you. Having our fingers really open so they can support our wrist. And our wrist is over our shoulders. So we're lifting up. We're actually going to tilt forward and then lower ourselves down to the mat, untucking the toes, and then opening our hearts again into a cobra pose. Maybe feeling that back bend in our mid back. And then down, tucking our toes, lifting our butt up and back into downward dog, waking up our bodies. Here we're going to walk our hands, our feet to our hands once again. And again, deepening this hamstring stretch. And we're going to first take our right leg and step it back. All right, so our toes are both parallel facing the front of the mat, having a bit of a triangle here in between. And then again, having this staying in our same forward fold, knee to nose in pyramid pose. Holding this for three, two, and one. In this pyramid pose, you can then bend that back knee down on the mat into a low lunge. Sinking and sitting into that low lunge, keeping your hands down, or maybe listening up off onto your knee for three, two, and one. Placing it back down, and then walking your hands back and hinging forward while your front knee is straight for a half split and holding that for three, two, and one. Walking that back up, back into that low lunge, lifting up that back leg and back into that pyramid pose. Walking our hand, bringing that back foot back up into that forward fold. And again, maybe doing some alternate bending of the knees. And now we're gonna do the same thing on the left side. So stepping that left foot back, toes parallel, hinging at the hips into pyramid pose. Holding this for three, two, and one. Bringing that left knee down into a low lunge. Sinking, really sitting in that low lunge. Holding this for three, two, and one, placing your hands down, shifting back into that low lunge, mm. half split, knee to toes, holding that, knee to nose, holding that for three, two, and one, back up, back into that pyramid pose, and then bringing that left leg back up into forward fold. Hands back up, overhead, and down at heart center. And then small dive back into forward fold. Hands on your shin, flat back. And then bringing your hands back down on the mat, stepping back down into plank pose. Shifting forward and lowering down, but this time we're actually going to flip our feet, bringing the bottom of our feet onto the mat, and only keeping our feet and our hands on the mat into upward dog. If this may be too much, then by all means, you can go into cobra pose. Make sure that your shoulders and your wrists are still aligned. Really squeezing and engaging, opening your heart, your chest. And then unflipping, you're shifting your tailbone up and back, 
into downward dog and pedal that out. Taking some deep breath here and really just looking at your feet if possible. Maybe just seeing yourself and your body in a different way, different perspective as we go through this practice. And seeing how seeing yourself in different perspectives can maybe translate off the mat. So once again, you're looking forward, walking your hands up. Hands up, stepping that right leg back. Once again, but this time in a 45 degree angle. So your toes are kind of to the side, top of the mat. Front knee is still going to be bent. And then you're going to cartwheel your hands up into a warrior pose. Continuing to stack your ribs on top of your pelvis. Continue to have your heart open. Another way of looking at the world in this strong pose. Maybe you are a warrior in 2020, and so you want to continue that strength into 2021. Strong arms, strong legs, all engaged, and having your eyes look beyond your middle finger. Looking beyond your current circumstances into what you envision or manifest for them for this new year. You're going to tilt forward, flip that front arm, and lift it up and back, maybe placing that back arm on your lower back, or maybe on the side of that back leg, and really getting that lateral stretch on the left side of your body, and peaceful warrior. Bring that back. And I'm placing that left arm down, not opening to the right side of the room in triangle pose. Sorry, side angle pose. Back into, ooh. Back into warrior two. And then once again, back into Peaceful Warrior. Honing this, and maybe this is how you want 2021 to be. You want to be more peaceful. Not always having to be strong. And that's okay too. And now cartwheeling your hands back down. And now bringing that back foot back into Pyramid Pose, pointing the toes to the front of the mat. And again, hinging at the hips and holding this for three. Two and one, and back into forward fold. And now doing the same thing to the other side, stepping back, 45 degree angle for that back foot, and cartwheeling into warrior two. Stacked strong. Maybe this is what you envision how you should feel or how you want to feel for 2021. Tilting forward, flipping that hand, and lifting up and over into Peaceful Warrior. And then back into Warrior 2. And then down, left arm up, looking at the left part of the room and side angle pose. Heart will back up into that warrior two. And then once again, back into that peaceful or reverse warrior pose. And now cart rolling back down. Back into that pyramid pose. And then back up. And then walking that out. 
placing your hands back on the mat, back into that plank, and then shifting and lowering into that upward dog. And then untucking your toes and up and back into downward dog and pedaling that out. And now dropping to our knees. And getting into Drop it to our knees and then getting on our bellies. Right here, we're going to do some lotus poses. Lifting our chest off the mat, lifting our thighs off and holding this, having your hands by your side, out at a T or in front of you like Superman, and holding this for three, two, and one drop. And then this last one, you can hold it as loaded. Or maybe you want to try bow pose. So lifting up and lifting your chest up. And maybe if you can reach, having your hands touch your ankles or your calves. And of course, still having your thighs off the mat and your chest up. And holding this for three. two, and one, and lower. And then making our way now to our back. As we move into Shavasana, here allowing yourself to sink, releasing your shoulders, and giving yourself time to, to create a vision of how you want 2020 to be? How do you want to feel? What do you see for yourself, for your loved ones, for your career, for your personal life? Maybe allowing Shavasana not to be a metaphor, but maybe you envision more rest for yourself. Allowing your fingers to curl, life to curl, Maybe that life. Allowing your toes to be free. Freeing yourself from any shoulda, coulda, woulda, or limits that we put on ourselves. Allowing yourself to just surrender to the universe and that your body is surrendering to gravity and trusting in the mat and in the ground to hold it up. Releasing tension from your shoulder, from your jaw, from your eyebrows. Using this time to maybe really work on your vision by looking up, looking down, looking side to side. As we exercise our eyes and be mindful of the strain that is on it constantly, looking at screens, technology, taking in information, and then giving your eyes some time to rest too. Here, continue to take some deep breath in and out. Allowing your breath to just have its own rhythm, not trying to control it. Figuring out any right or wrong way of breathing. If you have more time to rest here, I encourage you to do so. If not, begin making your way up slowly and safely. Gentle movements. Maybe rolling to one side and using your arms to help lift you up. And then moving back into an easy seat if that's comfortable for you. 
allowing 2020 to be open, but still be guided through your vision and how you want to feel and see and experience this new year. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's bring palms to heart center. The light in me sees the light in you. See you on day three.